you all on the pill. Hi everybody, uh, in the last few episodes I've gone over the toolbar, and this episode I'm going to be going over something that kind of covers the toolbar a little bit, but it has a different functionality that's like a nice quick kind of editor for your timeline once you put some things down in your timeline, and that is called the trim window. The trim tool is a nice convenient tool that comes up in your program monitor to give you access to uh, quick access to the ripple and roll editing tool, and we're going to show that and we're going to demonstrate how that works. So first of all, I'm going to perform a couple edits here. I'm going to go down to my, let's see, we're seeing editing scene two. I'm going to open up scene two and make some thumbnails here, quick little scene. And let's do some match editing here. So in this scene, we've got this shot with this lady walking up here. We're going to get her out of the shot there. So we get the pan, double click on that, open it up. And I'm going to put an endpoint right there. Now she walks into the scene. Gum is chomping. Oh Are you all on the pill? And we want to cut to this. Uh, we've got a medium, nice medium shot of this. And by the way, I'm going to show this commercial at the end. This is a commercial that we, that uh, Salt Lake Community College students uh, shot and edited. So that turned out pretty cool for a local, for a for a company in Utah. So here I'm going to get to the point right where this lady stops, and right before she says her line, I'm gonna put an out point. So I'm gonna put O for out point, and I'm going to hit period to drop it into my timeline. And now I've got that clip down on my timeline. Now we're gonna cut to the medium shot here. So I'm gonna go to this shot here. It's actually a close up, sorry, but let's go to this shot where she walks in. I'm gonna get the last take because it's probably the best here. Where she walks in and says her line. Are you I'm going to intentionally kind of mistime this like I'm doing a rough cut. I'm going to take it back to where she's still walking in the other shot. She came to a stop. So I'm going to put in point, play through it. Are you all on the pill? Stop, out point, and period to drop it down into the timeline. So now I've got two cuts down here. So the next shot here is uh, where she reaches out mm -hmm. and hands these pills, offer these pills to these ladies. So I'm going to put an in point, mm -hmm. play, out point. Go to my timeline, period, drop it in, and let's do one more shot here to kind of tell the full story. On this last shot, they reach out. I'm going to mistime this one intentionally as well, just a little bit. In point. And an out point, and period, and drop it in. Let's look at the rough cut here on the timeline. So I've just got a rough sequence here and see what we've got. So I'm going to go to the beginning and play through it. She walks in. Are you all on the pill? Hmm? And there we go. We've got the, a rough sequence. This is a rough cut right here. We've got the shots kind of in the sequence that we want, but now we're going to tighten things up here and we're going to use the trim tool to do that. So first of all, I'm going to go to this first edit right here. And the way you can jump to edits, remember, is arrow up and arrow down will jump you between the edits. I'm going to arrow up and jump on that edit right there. And now to access the trim tool, I'm going to hit the letter T on my keyboard and it brings up a trim window. I'm going to move my mouse over this and hit the tilde key to go full screen so we can really see what we're doing. Now what you've got here is the shot on the left, you've got your out point of the clip on the left, and you've got the in point here, uh, thumbnail of the in point on the clip on the right. And as we move our mouse around here, if we move our mouse over here, you'll notice uh, this has this yellow arrow pointing to the left. If I move it in the middle here between both of them, it's got this double red arrow uh, between both of them. And then as I point it to the right here, it has this yellow one pointing to the right. And if, you've, and if you've gone through my earlier episodes, you'll know that this yellow arrow means a ripple edit. What that basically does is shortens the in point of, or an out point of a clip or lengthens it and then fills the gap or pushes everything out to compensate for the extra frames without it. But it will do it without affecting the adjacent clips, in points or out points. If I move it over here, so this will be a ripple edit on this clip's out point. If I move it over here, that is a ripple edit on this clip's in point. And I can either lengthen it by dragging it to the left or shorten it by dragging it to the right. And if you move it in the middle here, this is a roll edit. The roll edit will affect both the in and out point of these of this edit here. Of this, It'll affect the out point of this left clip and the in point of this right clip here. Let's demonstrate the ripple edit first. If I move my mouse over here and get it right here where it's on this ripple edit, and I grab this I just click with my mouse and then I drag it to the left, look what it does. It changes this clip's out point. If I move it to the right here, and this is used, and if you've looked at my previous episode, ripple edits are really used to, are used to match edit. I'm going to let go of this. Let's get out of this window here and show you what this is actually doing here. As I move over this and I grab this, watch what happens as I drag this to the left, right about there, and I let go. It just did a ripple edit. I just like pulled this clip's out point down here to the left, and it, tr and it trimmed it to the left, and then it filled in the gap by pulling everything else over. That is a ripple edit. If I'm, let's undo that. Watch what happens when I grab this to the left and drag it to the right. I let go. Notice it expanded that clip right there. It dragged it out and shoved everything else out. I'm going to undo that. Same as if I go here to the right 
and grab it and let go. And notice it expanded that clip. And if I grab it and drag it to the right the there, and then it eats into it. So dragging it back and forth is going to give you, is going to do a ripple edit. If I grab this clip on the middle here and drag it to the left, it does both simultaneously the in and out point, And I let go. Look how it just it expanded this clip while shrinking this clip right here. And that is called a roll edit. And ripple edit is kind of the opposite where it's, it's affecting the single clip but not affecting the adjacent clips. And the roll edit is affecting both clips. So let's play through this. I've intentionally mismatched this and we're going to use a ripple edit to match this. Watch as I play through it. Are you all on the... Are you all on the pill? She'll, she says the thing twice there and it doesn't really match, obviously. So I'm going to land on this edit here and I'm going to fine tune this. I'm going to hit the letter T to bring up in my trim window, tilt it over this window to make it big. And now I'm going to grab the out point of this clip and I'm going to drag it in to where she is actually moving. There she's saying the line, so I'm going to drag it back a little bit so she's kind of in the same position there. As now look at this out point, it looks like it's matching this in point. Let me grab this in point and kind of drag it right before she comes to a stop, maybe right there. And now let's take a look at that and see how that looks. Let's see if we got that to match. Are you all on the pill? Are you all on the pill? And that works pretty well there. Now let's say we want the edit to happen on a different spot there. I can hit T. All right, hit T and bring up the trim window here. Hit tilde to go big. And now I can decide where I want this edit to kindly finally happen here. Let's say I want it to happen right before she comes to an absolute stop. I'm going to move this forward. Right there, she actually starts to speak. You can see her mouth on the left there starting to speak. And here it's not. So actually, let's do a little trim and get it to kind of match right there. Now it looks like her mouth is kind of matching. I'm going to roll edit this back a few frames. And let's take a look at that. See how that looks. Are you all on the pill? And that looks pretty clean. Now, the, the, uh, at the end of this clip, there's a big gap here where she just says the line, and then we take a while to cut to the next the shot. Hmm? See, it takes way too long. So I'm going to arrow up, land on that, hit T for my trim tool, hit my tilde. I'm going to move my mouse here and grab my uh, ripple edit to the left here <laughs> and get it right where she finishes her line. <laughs> right there. And I just filled up that rest of the gap there. And I'm going to grab this one here and get it to where she starts lifting her hand. So this is going to be a tighter shot. Right about there. Now let's take a look at it. On the pill. And there we go. And we tighten that up by using the trim tool. Let's show kind of a before and after. So here's before. Watch how kind of long and awkward it is. Are you all on the pill? See, it's not very tight. It's very, very long. So now let's look at the, the trimmed version with that did with the trim tool. Are you all on the pill? Mm -hmm. Much better. I hear a little bit of voice overlap there, and that can actually be fixed just by going down here and grabbing the audio. And I'm going to do I'm going to hold down Alt so it just does the audio alone and not the video. And I'm going to drag this over, and I'm going to do a little bit of an L cut. Notice that's the shape of an L where the audio overlaps in here, and now we don't hear that extra audio. Pill. There we go. Perfect. All right, now she reaches out her hand and comes to a stop. And I want to see, I want to cut the rest of this out right here. There's an easy way to cut, but right now I'm going to use a trim tool just to look at this here. I'm going to arrow down, land right there. I'm going to hit the T for my trim window, tilde, and I'm going to tighten this up a little bit. I'm going to come over here and grab this right when the hand is down. Right about there is where I want that to edit. Let go, just perform the edit. And now I'm going to come over this window and and trim this one to where those hands start lifting up. Right there. So I want to cut to it right when the hands start to lift up. Right there. And I've tightened that up a little bit. Let's take a look at that and see how different that is. There we go. That's much tighter. There we go. So let's go to the beginning, play through that, and see how that whole scene plays out now. God is talking. Are you all on the pill? There we go. Nice and clean, nice and quick, nice and tight. Works really, really well. Okay, let's just show a couple other little features with the trim tool. If I hit T, bring this open. You've got also these little items down here. This one's kind of redundant. You don't really need this. This applies a, a default transition or dissolve between the two clips. But you've got this plus one, plus five, minus one, minus five. And this will work depending on which clips you have selected. Uh, first of all, if we do it by a roll tool here, if I if I grab my roll tool and click, notice it has all the windows highlighted here. If you come over here and do a ripple, notice it only highlights this window right here. And if I do it to the left, it only highlights that window right there. But let's say I do roll tool. And now if you hit minus one or minus five, it's going to roll edit at minus one frame back or five frames back. So now with those both selected, and notice down here, it's got both edits selected. It's got, a, this is set up for a, a roll edit. If I hit the minus one here, 
Notice it roll edits one frame back at a time. If I do minus five, it does it five frames backwards. If I do plus one, it goes one frame forward. If I do plus five, it does five frame forward on the roll edit. Now, if you select this clip to the right, and it's just got the clip to the right, now you do plus one, it'll roll edit at one frame at a time. Look at this, it'll eventually eat into it. It's roll editing at one frame at a time, or you can do five frames at a time, or you can do it backwards one frame at a time, or minus backwards five frames at a time on either clip. So just be familiar with these selections here. If you do a ripple edit, it selects the roll, ripple edit to the right. If you do it over here, it does the ripple edit to the left. And if you hit the roll tool, it does both of your clips on that edit right there. And uh, these tools will help control that down here. And there's also shortcuts for these. If you hover your mouse over it, you'll notice if you do control in your left key, it'll trim one frame back at a time. It's roll editing one frame to the left at a time. If you hover your mouse over the negative five here, notice control shift left key, it'll do five frames at a time. Now, if I do this to the right, I'll do it. It'll roll edit at five frames to the right at a time. Or if I hold control, one, uh, control right key, it'll do one frame right at a time. So just some quick little short key, shortcut keys to get used to it there. A good way of figuring out how to get your edits matched visually by using the trim tool. So if you have any questions, please post them and I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you. Are you all on the pill? You need to get on the pill. Hey, have you heard about the pill? Space paste, perfect toothpaste on the go. For fresh breath and clean teeth, just chew, swish, and fresh. Are you on the pill?